Hello everyone. I'm really excited for today's podcast. First time in my fucking life. Why are you excited, Alexis? Because the theme today, we're going to play a little game, a sexual game. So that's why I'm excited and I came up with it. So I... <laughs> Let me be excited. And Joe took a fucking shot of tequila before we filmed. Ew. Ew, can you not pick your teeth while we're filming? That's I'm amazing. trying to be a professional here while I, once again, am in pajamas, wearing a fucking maternity bra. Jesus, what? And what? It's not really a maternity bra, but all right, it, all right. it really looks ugly. Oh my what, God. am I not supposed to flush a tit? Is that not okay? Yeah, normally, you know. Are you putting limits on me now? No, Just because we're getting no, married? No, my no God. No limits, babe. Now that I'm taking on your last name, oh you own me, God. bitch? I don't think so. I don't fucking think so. Wow. I wear the maternity bra. Oh my god, I'm not. Oh. What? My nipples aren't hard. It's All right. okay. Oh Alright, we'll continue. Oh my. Sorry to um, my family and anyone from work who is watching. Um, fired on Monday again. Again. Yeah. Anyways, so the game. I'm gonna say a sexual word. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about like what people need to do to spice things up. So I was doing some research and there are some freaking funny fetishes that people are into and even more hilarious the things they name them. So I'm gonna say the word and you're gonna try to describe what the sex act or fetish is. All right, ready? Describe what the sex act or fetish is. So this Easy. one is called hot dogging. What, what, what do you think hot okay. dogging is? Hot dogging. That's one easy. Uh -huh. Take the woman's cheeks, spread them, you put your pee pee in between, boom, it's a hot dog. You know it! Oh! Wait, did you actually know that? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Rubbing your penis between another person's boom. butt cheeks. This boom. is not about anal penetration, though it can lead there. Anything can lead to anal penetration that's in right. my book. That's right. You just gotta okay. visualize the hot dog, and I visualized it. All right, the next one. The ball koozie. The ball koozie. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. <sighs> ball <laughs> koozie. This is the what? best. Uh, balls in your mouth. No. Mm, balls in a butthole. <laughs> no. Mm, balls in the vagina. No. Balls ball. in your hands, like this. No. Cupped. Are you giving up? Mm, balls in a sock. No, in All a right, sock. What is it? I don't know. Ball koozie. It involves the guy taking his balls, dipping them into very warm liquid, <laughs> and then the partner blows bubbles into the liquid with a straw. <laughs> I'm thinking a koozie like no a ball koozie. A koozie you put a beer in like in a jacuzzi. Like a jacuzzi. I would have had a totally different guess for that. <laughs> Isn't wow. that amazing? So, would you try it? I want a ball koozie. That sounds, I guess that sounds ticklish. I guess that's what we're doing tonight. It says it creates a massaging, tickling sensation. No matter how weird it is, they love it. A well, ball everyone, try it tonight. Report back to me. Let me know. I love that you thought it was like a beer holder koozie. Yeah, koozie. It's like a ball <laughs> oh, koozie. That's too funny. Okay, next one. The supernova. Ah. Mm, that's too abstract. The super mm -hmm. nova. Mm -hmm. All right, girl sucking a guy off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's about to come. Mm -hmm. He explodes on her face like a big supernova. Supernova. Is that right? No, that's not a sex act. Well, I guess co it coming is? on someone's faces. God, this is um, getting very explicit. He... Come on, babe, you can do this. Actually, this one's pretty weird. What is it? So it's when it's the pop rocks thing. It's when you oh. put pop rocks in your mouth and you give them a blowjob. I feel like that can't be safe. I feel like that would hurt and tingle and be spicy. It says that it feels like they have a vibrator. Like it I makes mean, your penis vibrate. I don't know about that. Can I share a personal story about oh, us? Oh God, no. What the this fuck? does not sound like it's gonna be good. Why? Oh my god. So speaking of vibration. Oh, I don't want to know where this is going to go. See? No. Yes. I don't yes. want to know where this is going to go. Joe, no. You, no. Want, you want me this to be is, in the podcast? No. I'm invested is, now, bitch. We, I'm invested in the podcast. We are Who's ready? 
X day wherever <laughs> this conversation's you going. You know what it is. No, this is X day wherever it is. No, can't be I'm good. telling no, you. We tried a vibrating cock ring. This is not. This is so not where this cup needs to go. It didn't. Oh, it wasn't anything spectacular. Oh it was, so in terms, in reference to this pop rock <laughs> vibration, I don't think we'd try this one. Oh my god. No? I don't even know what you just said. I'm so beat red. Joe is so embarrassed. I'm, I'm so sorry, babe. Embarrassed Whatever. For this episode right now. A, people use cock <laughs> rings. It's not like I was saying I was fisting your butt or something. <laughs> which we have not done for the record. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, babe. I'm oh. so uncomfortable right now. Are we going to get into a fight after this episode? No, fight. It is so beyond comfort right now. I'm sorry, okay. honey. I'm just thinking of the variety. It's not even that I have a problem with you saying it. It's uh -huh. just the wide variety of people that I know that listen to this. Yeah. Three quarters of them don't need to hear that. Yeah, my family or my that. employers. So why uh, would you want to bring that up? Because you want me to be invested in the podcast. <laughs> And this is me. This is me. Alexis and that her vibrating cock ring and her maternity bra. Uh, all right, bra. we don't need to repeat it. We don't need to celebrate it. Let's move on to the next well, one. Well, I think you should title the episode that. <laughs> no, next. <laughs> Holy Fine. Jesus next. Christ next. almighty. I'm sweating. Okay. I'm fucking sweating. Okay. It's also, I'm also fucking cooking meatloaf right now, so it's pretty hot in here. All right. That's not mine. I'm sweating. Well, we'll stay, we'll stay on the food one. We'll stay on the food one. This one's pretty obvious. Marshmallow dick fluff. Marshmallow dick fluff. Yeah. It's when the guy comes inside the girl and he swirls around his dick. What is this, a rodeo? It's a meat fluff or whatever. It's great, wow. It is when you get whipped cream Uh huh. and you put, and put it on a guy's penis. And Close. Swish it around. Close. So everyone knows what marshmallow fluff is, right? Right. It's the container and it's like melted marshmallow basically. Yeah. And you can spread it on toast. So this is when the guy dips his penis in the whole jar and then takes it out for you to suck his penis. Well, that was a little more or less abstract than I thought it would be. I thought it was like a clever name for something. No, that's why I said it was obvious, but it's kind of gross. I'm like, well, then after he dips his dick in it, are you still using it? That's, that's true. really well, unsanitary. That's now the marshmallow dick jar. I, I like. What if you have kids and they're like, Mom, I want a fluff sandwich, and that's you're why like, it's a designated jar for penises. Only. God, I hope so. You better keep that at your bedside table. But your kids could still get in there and be like, Mom, why do you keep marshmallow yeah. fluff? You label it as something else. You label it as glue. I don't think I like this. I don't I don't think I'd do that one. I don't think maybe, most people would. Let's maybe, be real here. Maybe sanitarily spreading it with a fresh knife. Not a knife, sorry. Maybe you put, you, you put a latex. Spreading a knife near your penis. You put a latex glove yes. on. You scoop a bunch out with your hand and then you slather it. Yes. You bask it like you're, you're yeah. basking a, a chicken. Maybe i like do it turkey. that way. I would do it that way. Glaze it. Sanitary. It's like a glaze. But I could still never look at marshmallow fluff the same way ever again. I don't think I will. And I, I mean, not that I would ever serve that to our children because, you know, Mr. Fucking Nutrition over here, but yes, apparently it's okay for me to eat. Oh boy. So this one's also obvious. Fruit roll up head. You just wrap a guy's dick in a fruit roll up. Ding, ding, ding. And you fucking taste the rainbow. So would you try that? No, I don't see what that's going to do for me. It's for like me. Bite on the fruit roll up and then oh it's going to hurt and then it's going to bleed. I would only do it for the one. Remember the one when we were younger, it would like tattoo your tongue. Oh so then you'd have a dick tattoo. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I cracked myself up. You I think that's a winner. I think that one's a stuff. winner. If I'm we still can stuck find on two two labels ago. I'm sorry. Oh my god. All right, we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Okay? We did this one. Diaper bondage. Diaper bondage. You everything seems to be dick related, so you tie up the guy's dick in a diaper. And then he fucks with it. God. No, this is like creepy, but you know when people act like babies and they wear a diaper. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. Bondage with that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you ever want to be an adult baby. I do not need to be an adult me baby. Me either. Alright, next one. Pedal pumping. 
pedal pumping. Mm -hmm. uh, like petals or pedal? Pedal with a D. Pedal pumping. D. So you're on a stationary bike mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's got a dildo attached to it that as you pedal, it pierces them. That's genius. Am I right? No, but no. we're gonna we're gonna or it's in the seat. reclaim this word and make it our or own. Or it's in the seat and it comes up and gets you. Wow, the hand motions. I'm usually the one making the hand motions. Well, you got me shook, so. Oh, I got you shook. You got me shook for the first time on my podcast. Oh, I'm loving this. I might actually listen to this podcast. Oh, God. I, I might actually. To this I might share this on my Instagram. I might share this on my LinkedIn. It's <laughs> for potential for, job applicants. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know, share on my LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna really market this one. It's my favorite podcast ever. Anyways, back to the pedal pumping, also known as revving. It's how did my life get to this point? Because you chose a winner, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna oh. thank me when we're 75 and you're like, God, we still have great sex, <laughs> okay? Because then, I'm, I'm I'll gonna be like, wanting to shoot myself. Babe, get the fucking marshmallows. Get the fluff labeled as Elmer's glue. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so pedal pumping or revving is a foot fetish where you watch a woman wearing high heels push a gas pedal while you masturbate to the rhythm. Wow. See, it works. Unless the car doesn't start. So is that is that something you're into? Yeah, you know, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Rick and Bobby, you ain't first, you're last. Wow. Well, we're ending on kind of a shitty one, but it's a it's called guess what. That is so broad. Guess what? Uh, let's see. It is when you are having sex with a guy and then he switches places with another guy. That's the goes, magician. And he goes, guess what? And you're like, who's that? I mean, that works too, but I think that's called the magician. A Houdini, actually. Oh, Houdini. There's no one else to go with. All right, guess what? Guess what? Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's when the uh, guy tells you after the fact that he wasn't wearing a condom. Jesus. Guess what? Guess what, bitch? You're pregnant, or you have AIDS, Ooh. or both. Or the herp, you know? We all got herp. We all got the herp. That we do. Oh my god. That not we do. that herp. And I'm not by Herpes all... simplex one. Right, right, right. Mouth and sores, some have the herpes mm. simplex two. Don't shame on them. No, there you go. No shame here, apparently. No shame ever. Okay, so guess what is a game where you blindfold your partner and have them lick different food flavors off your genitals? So, it's very food oriented on this. Well, apparently people have a lot of food fetishes and they well, have the funniest know, names. You know, you get hungry when you're doing it. You burn a lot of calories. Do you? On a, you know, sharing this on a fitness note, you burn a lot of calories. Right, okay. So it's good to get, you know, you want to stay hydrated. Don't want to mm -hmm. cramp up. And I keep uh, wine stay in my fed. Bed. Stay fed. Stay fed. So what would you do? Maybe, oh, I could snort some protein powder off your dick? Oh my no? God. No? No? It would is get that too sticky? No, so powder sticky. No, right, all right. What else? What else can we do that's fitness related? Hmm. Mm, I don't know. Melt a Quest bar. Hang a dumbbell off of it. Oh my God! Well, you know, it's something I'm actually interested in is vagina weightlifting. Hmm. Maybe yeah. there's a competition. You can have a yeah powerlifting meet for that. Yeah, I think Here I'd be pretty Alexis good. Here comes Worth. She is the reigning world record holder for pelvic thrusts. I kegel a lot. Kegeling. I kegel a lot. I kegel 516 pounds. Yep. Watch out. I do own some kegel weights, actually. Boy. But. Apparently they know everything we own now. <laughs> Let me just, next Ooh. next episode, I'll open our sex drawer. Oh, God. And I'll do a little show and now tell. going to sound like a bunch of pervs. Everyone has a sex drawer. I hope so, for our sake. Okay, it's always, the girls, of course, has a vibrator because if you don't you know, get the job done. We've got to finish it off ourselves, okay? <laughs> or you're now you're out of town. Maybe a little FaceTime sesh with my bzz bzz. Oh, a little bzz bzz. Yep, and of course, probably some sort of jizz rag in there. Oh my god! I'm just being real. 
What else could be in there? A lot of girls buy cock rings. And we're back. I know. Why are you so embarrassed about cock rings? So, share with us your other weird names and oh, I'll have Joe guess. Please do save me so I don't feel alone in this world. Or share what's in your sex drawer. Maybe it's marshmallow fluff. Be proud, there okay? Fucking, we're making s'mores tonight. If you do any of what we listed or try any, let us know. Let us know. And if we, we'll report back. Maybe there's something you recommend. You're like, you know what? The fruit roll up was a hit. We recommend it. And you let us know that. So. Yeah, let us know. Fantastic. And Joe, you should probably um, okay. put a warning on this episode oh, for God. explicit. There's no way to even put that. So. Yes, you. Ex the title I of the episode. I have to put that by default. <laughs> so. Fine. Well, this was the greatest episode ever of the she relationship show, it. and now I'm gonna go eat my meatloaf that I made because oh, I'm just a housewife wearing a maternity bra for some reason. It's gonna be a new sexual term, the meatloaf. The meatloaf. Ooh, ooh, what could that be? Oh God. I don't know. It scares me a little bit. Maybe it involves ketchup and brown sugar, huh? Ooh. Oh, and apple cider vinegar. That's what you'd use to make meatloaf glaze. If anyone's ever made meatloaf, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, good night. Have a good night.